Hey zombie lovers and even you zombie haters who are watching this because deep down inside you know you're a zombie lover. Everyone's been asking me about the drivetrain on the Zombie 222 and what we're going to do to try to break our own record of 174.2 which is a world record for street electric cars. So I thought I would take advantage of having the entire drivetrain out of the car uh, and prep to show you a little bit about it. Okay, so here's what we've got. This is a floating Ford 9 inch rear end with coilover suspension and 13 inch wheel with brakes, running a Strange Pro center section. We'll be running a 2.47 ring and pinion. Yeah, that's right, 2.47. Most people don't even know they ever made that. That was uh, like in a Lincoln Town car in the 80s. Uh, but we need all the top speed we can get. This is made by Streeter Track. We love working with those guys. If you have a vintage Mustang and you want to really set it up, those are the guys to talk to. Uh, this is the Watts Bar system that's built into this that gives you the lateral uh, stability for highway driving and then you have your three links to lay down some serious traction on the drag track or a little bit of red light racing. There is no transmission in this car normally. What we do is add overdrive units if we want to go past about 100 miles an hour which is what you can do with no transmission just running a 76 inch drive shaft straight off the motors back to the rear end. Uh, this is the pair of gear vendor overdrives that I just dropped out. These were used when we broke our uh, best quarter mile time and ran in the nines, ran 9.89 .9 at 140.2 miles an hour. These are from gear vendor and this is two overdrives. This first overdrive has an adapter plate that allows it to slide up on the spline, the turbo 400 spline, and bolt up just like it would if this were a transmission. So this is one overdrive and then a second overdrive with the tail end on it that goes back to the rear end. Uh, the beautiful thing about these gear vendors is they're designed to be bolted into series if you want to continue to add more overdrives. So we're going to go a little crazy and we're going to put four units in. So we're going to have one, two, three, and then four units giving us just some uh, really unbelievable gear ratios to keep our RPMs and torques in that beautiful high horsepower, high torque band of 2000 or so. Let's take a look at the rear of the motor so you can see how this mounts up. So that adapter literally slides over this output spline which is built into the shaft of the rear motor uh, and then you bolt it up just like a transmission. It's really that simple and uh, so this is sort of the magic of how we're going to take all the amazing power in those batteries and uh, electric motors and lay them down to try to go potentially 200 miles an hour.